Today I'm going to show you how I use Fusible Web to create my own doublet. I normally use the fusing um, when I am creating colors on my own for my crepe paper. For example, in this particular situation, I've uh, bleached some fine crepe and I usually use that for petals. Um, I usually use the, uh, the bleaching technique for, for petals and in this particular case, I really like the effect of the ombre. I've bleached my paper in the strips, and that was something that I picked up as well from Livia uh, Chetty. And so when I am preparing the paper for fusing, I first take my iron and I make sure that the pieces are flat. And I do this by pressing on top of them. I just gently press. I wouldn't move it back and forth because that will stretch the crepe. So I would just lightly apply pressure on the iron on top of the crepe paper. And bleaching does change the texture of the fine crepe, which is what I'm using. Um, it does stretch it out a bit, so I would be careful about how I use the iron to flatten it because you really don't want any further stretch. So once I've done that, I move it and then what I've learned is using parchment paper as my bottom piece really helps the, um, the fuse, uh, sorry, the web to not stick onto your iron board and also to the bottom of your iron. It creates this really sticky mess and you really don't want that to be passed on to your subsequent projects. So what I do is I put a piece of parchment paper down and then I put my crepe paper piece one side. I put the fuse, um, this web, this is Pellen, Pellen Wonder Web. Um, I think, I believe it's number 807 and you can buy it in a bolt or you can buy it by meters or yards. I buy mine at the local fabric store. And uh, they come, Pellen comes in a 20 inch. So you can cut it to shape, and I usually just cut strips of it um, horizontally. And then I will uh, use them on all of my strips that I've bleached. But I mean, obviously you can cut it in any different, any shape or size um, that you need. But what I've done here is in preparation, I've created a small strip and then I place my second strip of fine crepe on top. And I try to apply it as evenly as possible so that all of the sides match up. And then I place another, a second piece of parchment paper on top and that will protect your iron from the fuse getting onto it. So then I just apply my iron. It should be on a fairly hot temperature. I put it on six or five, and I do put water in my iron to create steam, so it is super hot. And then I just press. I press on to the piece of crepe with the web in between. And I apply a bit of pressure to make sure that the heat transfers completely through the paper. And then here I'm done. I just remove my parchment paper. And then I double check because a lot of times I might miss a spot or I might not have applied pressure evenly and the web won't um, won't fuse the crepe paper together evenly. So in this case it has and you'll see there are, there's a little bit of, of the webbing coming out but nothing's actually gone on top of the parchment paper which is fantastic. And there you go. So this is how I use it and then I'll cut petals with it. 
um, and I find that the texture is fantastic to work with, especially for roses, uh, but you do have to, in a way, be careful of your stretching if you have manipulated the color of the paper. Um, applied water, alcohol, anything like that to it. It does change the texture of it, but I find that the fuse doesn't actually, the fusible web doesn't actually change the texture of it and it's really nice and, and stretchy. As you can see, it can still stretch it. And there you go. So hopefully that has, um, that helps you in determining whether or not you want to try using this fusible web. There are many different um, brands out there to try, but this has, this technique has worked for me and I periodically use it uh, for my favorite flowers. So thanks for watching.